Hello Internet and welcome to the Snubs Report. My name is Shannon Morse and today I'm going to show you something that I'm obsessed with. Real life locations of Sailor Moon in Tokyo, Japan. These are real. So I've got seven different locations in Tokyo, Japan that are open to the public that you can see and totally reminisce about Sailor Moon because they look exactly the same. Number one is Tokyo Tower. It is a tower that is in Tokyo that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, basically, it's this tower that was used for communications and is also used as a viewing point to see the entire city. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Sometimes you can see Mount Fuji from the top. It is so cool. It is also beautiful at night night when they light up all the lights, all the orange and white lights, and sometimes after midnight it changes colors. It's just so pretty. I highly recommend checking it out and taking some photos at night. But basically this one was in a slew of Sailor Moon episodes, like at least in the background of several different ones, and it is also the focus point for a couple of different fights that she has with enemies. Number two is the bus disappearance episode. This is one of the episodes that really focuses around Sailor Mars, and it is episode 10 in the first season. I told you I'm obsessed. Basically, if you want to check out the bus disappearance bus stop that it's based off of and that it looks exactly like, it's on this road which is near a couple of embassies. Now, if something is happening at these embassies, like like it happened when I was visiting, that road might be closed off. So unfortunately, I did not get to visit this bus stop and take a few selfies and pretend to be Sailor Moon while I was there, but maybe you'll get luckier than I was. Number three is a park which is located in Azabu Juban, which is a neighborhood in Tokyo, and it's very easy to get to off of uh, one of the subway stations. This park is called Arisugawa no Miya. It is a really, really big park. It has some gorgeous lakes and some really nice walking trails and a cute little Little creek waterfall, uh, but I know it from Sailor Moon. For example, on episode 24, it's the forested park that Nephrite dies in. Today I am hanging out in a bunch of different Sailor Moon locations because the anime was actually based off of real life places. So this place is called Arusigawa Park and it's in the middle of Zapujuban which is the neighborhood that a lot of these places are in. Uh, you can get here by going to the Zabajuban uh, train station and just getting off there, and it's very easy to find everything from there. Uh, Tokyo Tower is also pretty close. But this first place may look familiar because it's where a whole bunch of uh, dates happen for Usagi and Mamu-chan. So you might also find this place familiar because this is from the episode where Nephrite dies in Naro's arms. Pretty early episode in the series, but it was one of the saddest ones and it actually made me kind of cry, not gonna lie. But um, yeah, this is where that episode took place. It's kind of amazing to be here. This is also the same park where you can find Usagi and Mamoru's very famous a date place, which is where they like to sit down and like eat lunch together, it has a big clock and a cute little water fountain. You'll see it in the videos. I found Usagi and Mamoru's date place. It's so pretty! Number four is a really easy one that you can get to pretty much in the center of Azabu Juban. This is Chibiusa's swing set in Amishiro Park. This one was used in all sorts of episodes, but the one that I'm really reminiscent about is Chibiusa whenever she's mad and she's sitting on that swing set all by herself. Stop is called Amishiro Park. Doesn't look that fascinating, but if I turn around, these swing sets are where Chibiusa loves to play. Number five is Sailor Mars's manga shrine, which is called Hikawa Shrine. So this one is also located in Zabu Juban, and it is a much smaller shrine than I was thinking it would be in person, and it's off of this little side street. Uh, you pr could probably miss it if you walk down the wrong street, but once you get in there, it totally looks exactly like the shrine from the manga. And this place is Sailor Mars's manga shrine. So this is where all the girls would hang out whenever they were doing their planning in the manga. It's very small. Even the shrine has good luck charms that people have filled out with little Sailor Moon characters. This place is so cool.
Number six is also called Hikawa Shrine, and this is from Sailor Mars' Anime Shrine. So this one is near Ropongi, so a little bit farther away. It's a much bigger shrine. It's really beautiful and peaceful. When you walk up to the shrine, uh, most of the noises of the city just kind of melt away. But this is where the Sailor Senshi would meet. It's the place that Rei calls home. It's a place where Sailor Mars has a bunch of fight scenes. So it's very, very obvious to any Sailor Moon fan where you are. It's Sailor Mars' shrine. Do I recognize it? I recognize. I recognize. I recognize. This is Sailor Mars' anime shrine. You probably recognize it. The steps that all the Sailor Scouts sit on all the time. The gorgeous, gorgeous scenery. Well, not so much the business area, but it's entirely forested here. And it's very quiet. Lots and lots of birds chirping. It's just beautiful. And it's amazing being here and like the entire time I've been here so far, I've recognized different parts of the shrine that look familiar to me. Like, you know, back there, that's where all the girls would sit. And if I walk outside, there's several different places where Sailor Mars has had fights with enemies during the anime. And the stairs that the girls run up to to get to the shrine in the first place, those exist. And there's a big tree that is a part of a big fight scene here. That exists. There's even a little white cat running around, which I belovedly named Artemis, of course. <laughs> I mean, how could I not? Uh, this place is beautiful. I am so happy that I could be here right now. This is just, it's like a dream come true. I'm at the Sailor Mars Hikawa Shrine from the anime, and of course Artemis is standing by, watching silently, making sure everything's okay. Hi Artemis. Hello kitty. Do you recognize these steps? They lead up to Sailor Mars' shrine. I'm so excited! Look! Look! Look, it's Artemis! Hello, Artemis! Artemis! I'm at the Sailor Mars shrine! And number seven is just walking around Azabu Juban. The neighborhood is exactly where Sailor Moon would have grown up. That's where all of her different places are. That's where she would shop. There's a shopping street that exists in the real world from Sailor Moon. There is a central park, which is basically a meeting place, which is very obvious in Sailor Moon Crystal, more so than it is in Sailor Moon. There is a subway station exit. There are all sorts of places. So if you're just walking around that neighborhood for like a day, you'll come across plenty of things that remind you of the episodes from the Sailor Moon anime. There are a ton of places that I didn't even mention in this, but you can check out moonkitty.net, which has a whole listing of a bunch of places. I'll link them below. I love that blog. And if you have no clue what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. I just happen to be obsessed with Sailor Moon. If you enjoyed this travel slash geeky episode, please subscribe to my channel and like and comment below if you have ideas of other places that are based off of anime. Or I guess I should say other anime that are based off of places. <laughs> anyway, my name is Shannon Morse again. I'm gonna go watch some more Sailor Moon and eat some more Pocky.